Hi guys and welcome to the second tutorial on calculating upper and lower bounds where the degree of accuracy given to us is either a decimal place or a significant figure. In the last tutorial we learned how to calculate upper and lower bounds of rounded values by using the number line where we put the estimated value in the middle. We then calculated the next value up and down from the estimated value using the degree of accuracy. We then subsequently calculated the lower and upper bound by simply just finding the midpoints between these values, okay? So the midpoint of 4.7 and 4.8 is 4.75, giving us the lower bound, and the midpoint of 4.8 and 4.9 is 4.85, giving us the upper bound. Okay, so let's go ahead and do some more examples. And feel free to pause the video and have a go at the question before I show you the solutions. Find the upper and lower bound of 58.23 miles per hour measured to the nearest two decimal places. So using the number line, where we put the estimated value in the middle, in this case, the rounded value is 58.23. Now we need to find the next value up and down from the estimated value. And how we find that is by using the fact that this has been measured to the nearest two decimal places. And how we do this is by finding out the value in the second decimal place. In this case, it's one, two. So the value is going to be three. So what we do to calculate the next value up is we simply just add one to this value, giving us 58.24. And to find the next value down, we subtract one from this value, giving us 58.22. In order to find the upper and lower bound, we simply just find the midpoints. So the midpoint of 58.22 and 58.23 is 58.225, which is our lower bound. And the midpoint of 58.23 and 58.24 is 58.235, which is our upper bound. All right, so next question. Find the upper and lower bound of 19.383 millimeters to the nearest three decimal places. So using the number line where we place the rounded value in the middle, which in this case is 19.383 millimeters, we need to then find the next number up and down from the rounded value. So in this case, the value has been rounded to the nearest three decimal places. So let's find the value at the third decimal place and use this to help us find the next value up and down. So the value at the third decimal place is one, two, three. So we can find the next value up by simply just adding one to this value and then find the next value down by just simply subtracting one from this value. In order to calculate the upper and lower bounds, we simply just take the midpoints between these consecutive terms. So the lower bound is equal to 19.3825 and the upper bound is equal to 19.3835. If you're struggling to see how to calculate the midpoints, you can simply just take the sum of the values and divide by two. So that would give you the lower bound. And if you wanted to find the upper bound, you would take the sum of these two values and divide by two. Next example, find the upper and lower bound of 0 0.0025 millimeters to nearest four decimal places. So what we need to do is use the number line and place the estimated value in the middle of the number line. We then need to find the next values up and down from the rounded value. Now in this case, it's been rounded to the nearest four decimal places. Now the value at the fourth decimal place is one, two, three, four. So it's five. And we use this to help us calculate the next term up and down by simply just adding or subtracting one. Okay, so the next term up would be when we add one to this would be 0 0.0026. And the next term down would be when we subtract one from this value giving us 0 0.0024. So in order to calculate the upper bound, we simply just calculate the midpoints between consecutive terms, giving us that the lower bound 
is equal to 0 0.00245 and the upper bound is equal to 0 0.00255. Let's do some more examples. So in this question, we're told to find the upper and lower bound of 1,000 kilometers correct to the nearest one significant figure. Now, first thing to note that the word correct means just rounded to the nearest one significant figure. So in order to do this, we need to use a number line where we put the estimated value in the middle. In this case, it's 1,000. Now, in order to find our next numbers up and down, we need to notice that we've been asked to round to the nearest one significant figure. So what would help us find the next value up and down is by figuring out what's the first significant figure. Okay, now in this case, the first significant figure is one. So to find the next value up, we simply just add one to this one to give us 2000. And to find the next value down, we simply just subtract one, which gives us zero, 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 which is just zero. We then find the lower and upper bounds by simply just taking the midpoints between these values, giving us the lower bound is equal to 500 and the upper bound is equal to 1,500. Let's do another example. Find the upper and lower bound of 4.6 feet correct to the nearest two significant figures. So using the number line where we put the estimated value in the middle, which in this case is 4.6, we then use the fact that this has been rounded to the nearest two significant figures to help us calculate the next value up and down. Now, in this case, the second significant figure is six. So adding one to this value gives us 4.7, which is the next number up. And subtracting one from this value gives us 4.5, which is the next number down. We then calculate the lower and upper bound by simply taking the midpoints, which give us that the lower bound is equal to 4.55 and the upper bound is equal to 4.65. Done. Next question. Find the upper and lower bound of 0 0.083 millimeters correct to the nearest two significant figures. So using the number line where we put the rounded value in the center, which is 0 0.083. In this case, we need to find the next value up and the next value down using the fact that this has been rounded to the nearest two significant figures. So we need to find the value at the second significant figure. Okay. Now you have to be careful here because the first significant figure is eight and the second significant figure is three. It doesn't start from here. Okay. So we then add one to get to the next value up which gives us 0 0.0834 and subtract one to get to the next value down, which gives us 0 0.082. In order to calculate the lower and upper bounds, we take the midpoints of these values, which gives us 0 0.0825 and 0 0.0835. Last but not least, find the upper and lower bound of 0 0.0202 millimeters correct to the nearest three significant figures. Okay, so once again, using the number line where we put the rounded value in the center, we need to calculate the next value up and down using this time the fact that this value has been rounded to the nearest three significant figures. So we have to find the third significant figure. Okay, now the third significant figure in this case is two. All right, the first significant figure is two, the second significant figure is zero, and the third one is two. So we can now use the fact that two is the third significant figure to find the next value up and down by adding one to find the next value up to be 0 0.0203 and subtracting one to find that the next value down is 0 0.0201. We can then find the upper and lower bounds by finding the midpoints between these values, giving us that the lower bound is equal to 0 0.02015 and the upper bound is equal to 0 0.02025. In the next video tutorial, we are going to be looking at some trickier calculations 
which will involve using the upper bound, the lower bound and error intervals. Until then, keep up the good work and see you soon. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, leave your comments down below and subscribe to this channel so you'll be the first to know when we release our next videos.